we'd like to continue solving some rational equations. I believe we did three problems in our first video. The second video, we'll do, I guess, three more. That's the plan anyway. Um, here we go. Here's a problem. We got 2 over x plus 7 minus 3 over top of x equal to 6 over top of x squared plus 7x plus 7x. Okay. So uh, anytime you have a rational equation, that's an equation with fractions and you have variables in the denominator, what you want to do, you want to find an LCD. An LCD, which will allow you to get rid of your fractions. So it looks like our first denominator here is x plus 7. And we know that's prime. You can't break that down any further. You can't factor that down any further. Your second denominator here is x. Right, that's prime. You can't break that down any further. X doesn't factor down. Uh, when you get to the third denominator, it's a bit different. Hmm, we got a quadratic polynomial here, x squared plus 7x. Quadratic means the largest power is the power of 2. So does that factor? Hmm, does that factor? Well, if you look at the two terms, x squared and 7x, they have an x in common, so you can pull out an x and then write a parentheses, pair of parentheses. What times x gives you x squared? Well, x and then plus. What times x gives you 7x? Well, 7. So you got two primes here. You got x and x plus 7. x and x plus 7. So that factors into x plus x plus 7. Now, remember when we're finding an LCD, you have to take every single prime that shows up between all of your denominators. And if you've got any common primes, you just take the largest power. So notice x shows up. So we're going to just take x, just 1x, and then 1x. So x, we're just going to have 1x. You have x plus 7 here and x plus 7 here, so we're going to just take x plus 7. So x times x plus 7 is going to be our LCD. So we're going to have to multiply through by the LCD, that equation. I'm going to take um, my blue term, 2 over x plus 7. Parentheses around that. I'm going to multiply it by a purple, x times x plus 7. Maybe it's violet, I don't know. All right. Then I take a minus sign, 3 over x. I'm going to multiply that by a purple x, if I can get the color right, x times x plus 7. All right. And then I'm going to put a green equal sign. I'm going to take 6 over x squared plus 7x. Let me do a little erase in here to get this out of the way, the scratch work out of the way. So I'm taking my green term here, my green term, which I'm calling 6 over so rather than writing x squared plus 7x, I'm going to rewrite this in its factored form. Remember, this green guy right here, I'm circling factored into x times x plus 7. I'm just going to write it that way, x times x plus 7. We're going to take this green, this whole green term, this whole green term here, and we're going to multiply that by x, come on, purple, x times x plus 7. Multiplying through by the LCD. I put, uh, yeah, put parentheses there. I forgot my parentheses, and I'll put parentheses here. Now, if you're uncomfortable by multiplying by uh, x times x plus 7 by a fraction, if it's a little uncomfortable, you can always put a 1 on bottom to make the purples look like fractions. Understanding that the x times x plus 7 in purple is on top and the 1's on bottom. 
So now what we're going to do, we're going to do some cancellations. First, in the blue and purple, we're going to cancel x plus 7 on bottom with x plus 7 on top. In the red times the purple, we're going to have a x on bottom and, per and red and an x on top and red. That's going to cancel. And with the green times the purple, we're going to have a x times x plus 7. That cancels with a x times x plus 7 in purple. So the whole denominator cancels with the whole LCD in this last green situation. So what remains then, what remains is a blue 2 times x. That's going to be over 1, but you don't need to write the 1 on bottom. Then you're going to have minus a 3, minus a 3 times x plus 7. X plus 7 in parentheses. you got a 1 on bottom, but you don't need to write that. And then on the right-hand side, after the equal sign, you're just going to have a 6 over 1, which is 6. So we've gotten rid of our uh, denominators here. No more denominators, so we're just going to clean up. I'm going to copy down the 2x. I'm going to take this minus 3 right here, and I'm going to distribute my minus 3. You get minus 3 times x minus 3x. Minus 3 times positive 7 is negative 21. And that's all equal to 6. So now I just combine my like terms on the left-hand side. Combine like terms on the left side. You got what? 2x and negative 3x is what? Negative x, right? Negative 1x, you could say, or negative x. You have negative x minus 21 equals 6. So to solve that, I already got my x term on the left. I got negative x on the left. I'll just add a 21 to both sides. I get negative x. Negative 21 and positive 21 cancel equals, what's 6 and 21? 6 and 21 is 27. So if negative x is equal to 27, then positive x will be equal to negative 27, right? You can just multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1 to get that. Now here's a question. Does negative 27, does it violate any of the denominators? So this is right now is just a potential solution. Does it violate the first denominator? No, negative 7, if you plugged it into the first denominator, would give you 0. So, And the second denominator, um, x, you wouldn't want to have 0 plugged in there. So if you had negative 7 or 0, you would be in trouble if you had those for your potential solutions. But we don't have that situation, so we are good. So negative 27 is a perfectly good solution. It will, it will work. If you wanted to plug it in and check it, you could. I'm not going to plug it in and check it. It's a lot of work checking these. You have to do a lot of fraction addition and stuff. But you can. You can go back, plug in negative 27, see if it checks out. Okay, here's a number 5. We have, what, 3? No, didn't come out too well, the 3. 3 on top over x squared minus 2x. I'm sorry, I mis I've miswritten this. There should be a 4 on top. 4 on top, x squared minus 2x. Minus 40, no, minus 35 on bottom. Keep writing it down. And then minus, and then after the minus sign, 5 over x minus 7. And then an equal sign. And then 2 over x plus 5. All right, so we have this um, equation. It's a rational equation, meaning it has fractions with variables in the denominator. So we got to first find an LCD here. So you look at the first denominator here in blue. That can obviously factor, right? That's one of those quadratic polynomials. x squared minus 2x minus 35, we're going to, okay, when you have a quadratic trinomial, you want to make two pairs of parentheses, x in the first slot, x in the second slot, and then after the x's, 
you got to figure out two numbers that multiply to give you negative 35, right? Multiply to give you negative 35 right here and add to give negative 2 here. So what numbers multiply to give negative 35 and add to give negative 2 will be negative 7 and positive 5. So I'm going to x minus 7, x plus 5 is my factorization for this first denominator. As for the second denominator, we have x minus 7, right? That's already prime. We don't need to factor that. yippee ki -yay. Prime. And third denominator I'll call green. That's x plus 5. You can't factor that any further. It's prime. So if I'm finding an LCD, what I have to do, I have to take every single denominator and consider every prime and include that, multiply those together. All right, so x minus 7 shows up here and here, so we have to include x minus 7. What other prime show up? Well, x plus 5 shows up here and also here, so we have to include that. So x minus 7, x plus 5 is going to be our LCD. So what I have to do, I have to take every single term in my equation and multiply it through by the LCD. So I'm going to start off with the first term. I'm going to call it the blue term, 4 over. And rather than writing x squared minus 2x minus 35 as it is in quadratic form, I'm going to put it in its factored form. Remember, this blue right here is actually x minus 7, x plus 5. So I'm going to multiply that by our LCD, which is what, x minus 7 x plus 5. I'm going to have to do a little bit of erasing here. That was our LCD, x minus 7, x plus 5. Let me write that somewhere else so we have that on hand. Don't want to forget that. I've erased it so I can make space. I'll write that up top here, LCD x minus 7, x plus 5. All right, so we multiply the blue term by the LCD. Now, minus, I'm going to call this second one the red one, 5 times, I'm uh, sorry, 5 over x minus 7. We're going to multiply this one by the LCD in purple, x minus 7, x plus 5. Then we're going to have an equal sign, and after the equal sign, we're going to have 2 over x plus 5. And we're going to multiply that by the LCD, which is x minus 7, x plus 5, if I can squeeze it in. Yeah, I got it in there. So after we do that, I'll go ahead and put 1's on bottom. After we do that, I'll put a little parentheses around this one. And also parentheses around this one. After we do that, we can cancel be the t between the tops and the bottom. So first of all, in the blue and the purple situation, we can cancel x minus five, x minus seven, or x minus seven, x minus x minus seven, x plus five with x minus seven, x plus five. In the red situation, x minus seven with x minus seven, and with the green situation, x plus five with plus 5 cancels. So what we have left then is 4 over 1 in blue, which is 4. In red, we have a minus 5 times x plus 5. And that's over 1, which we don't need to put the 1 any longer. And then in, we have an equal sign. And then in green, 2 and x minus 7 besides it. And that's over 1, which we don't need to write. So I just have to clean this up. I'm going to uh, take this minus 5 here, minus 5, and distribute it. So we're going to take negative 5 times x is negative 5x, and negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have what? 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. So we distribute it on the left, distribute it on the right. Now we're going to combine like terms. 
Combine like terms. On the left, we got 4 and negative 25. 4 and negative 25 is negative 21, so we got negative 21 minus 5x equals, what, 2x minus 14. Now let's say I want to get all my x's on the left and all my numbers on the right. I would subtract 2x from the right side, and I have to subtract that from the left side. And I want to get rid of the negative 21 on the left, so I'd add 21 on the left, and then I'd have to add 21 on the right. So looking at that, we have what? Negative 21 and positive 21 cancel. Negative 5x and negative 2x is negative 7x. And we have an equal sign. Uh, 2x and negative 2x cancel. So we got negative 14 and 21. Negative 14 and 21 is, what is negative 14 and 21? 7. And then to complete this, to get rid of the negative 7 multiplied by the x, you just divide both sides by negative 7. And you get the negative 7s canceling. You get x equals 7 divided by negative 7 is negative 1. Now that's a potential solution, but it's a perfectly good solution because notice negative 1 does not violate any of your denominators, right? If you had 7 as a denominator or negative 5 as a denominator, you'd be in trouble and you have to say no solution, but we didn't get that. We just got negative 1, which is perfect. Perfect. All right, let's see. Can we do one more? Uh, this would be number 6. Number 6. Number six. Let's see if I can get a number six. Find one here. All right, so here's a good problem, I think. Two over x plus three minus five over x minus three equals negative 30 over x squared minus nine. So we have a rational equation. It's an equation with fractions where there are variables in the denominator. So we want to find an LCD. That's our goal. The first denominator in blue is x plus 3. That's prime. You can't factor that. The second denominator is x minus 3. That cannot be factored. That's prime. The third denominator, x squared minus 9, that can be factored. That is a difference of two squares. That factors nicely into x plus 3, x minus 3. So for finding our LCD, we have to take every prime. If it shows up between these three denominators, include it. In a multiplication, so we're going to take x plus 3. That shows up in two places. We're going to include that. And we're going to take x minus 3, which shows up in two places. We're going to include that. So our LCD is x plus 3, x minus 3. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by x plus 3, x minus 3. So every term gets multiplied by x plus 3, x minus 3. First, the blue term. We have 2 over x plus 3 times <clears throat> purple x plus 3 x minus 3. Then we have minus 5 over x minus 3 in red times a purple x plus 3 x minus 3. All right, we're going to have to clear out some of this here, some of our scratch work where we showed the process of getting the LCD. Here comes a green equal to sign, and we got, what, negative 30 over. Rather than writing x squared minus 9, I'm going to put it in its factored form, x plus 30. I'm sorry, x, minus, x plus 3, x minus 3. I'm just rewriting x squared minus 9 in factor form. We're going to multiply this by what? x plus 3. x minus 3. If you want, you can put 1's on bottom. 1's on bottom. Just so you know, x plus 3, x minus 3 in purple is up top. And then we're going to cancel. We're going to do some cancellations. 
I'll put some parentheses around some of these bottoms. All right, I'm gonna cancel the x plus three in blue with the x plus three in purple. I'm gonna cancel the x minus three in red with the x minus three in purple. I'm gonna cancel the x plus three, x minus three with the x plus three, x minus three, green versus purple. So what's left is gonna be a blue two, x minus three, all over one, which we don't write the one, minus red five, like Luke Skywalker, times x plus three, and parentheses, over one, which we don't write the over one. Then we got an equal to sign, and negative 30 over one is left over on the right side, which is just negative 30. Doesn't look like a good three there, does it? Negative 30, there we go. Now I'm gonna clean up the left side, I'm gonna distribute the two, we're gonna have two times x, two x, two times negative three, negative six, and then we have to take this red five, that's Luke Skywalker's red five, actually negative five, right? Negative five and multiply it through. Negative five times x is negative five x. Negative five times three is negative 15. And that's all equal to negative 30. So from here, I'm just gonna combine my like terms. On the left, I got what, two x? and negative 5x, 2x, and negative 5x, or 2x minus 5x, however you want to say that is minus 3x. And negative 6 combined with negative 15 is negative 21. That's all equal to negative 30. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to bring down my negative 3. Oh, hold up. We want to get negative 3x by itself, right? Negative 3x by itself. So we're going to add a 21 to both sides to get rid of the negative 21. That's going to give us what? Negative 3x on the left side. There we go. Negative 21 and positive 21 cancel. We get an equal sign. Negative 30 plus 21. What's negative 30 and 21 together? Negative 9. And then from there, we can divide both sides by negative 3 to get rid of the negative 3 on, on the x there. So that gives you... What does it give you? Well, the negative threes cancel and we get x by itself equals what's negative nine divided by negative three, three. Now remember, this is a potential solution only. Does it violate any denominators? Actually it does, right? If you tried to plug in three into that second denominator, x minus three there, if you plug in three for x, you get what? Three minus three will give you zero, which you can't have a zero denominator. So um, x equals three gives a zero denominator. Where do I want to write that? x equals three, I'll just say violates. A denominator, it makes a denominator zero, which you're not allowed to have. So since that was our only possible solution and we can't use it because it violates the denominator, then there's no solution. That's another way you can get a no solution. All right, so these happen rarely, but they do happen. So be aware, you have to make sure that your potential solutions do not violate any denominators. So I think that's it for uh, rational, rational equations.